Hey everybody, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. We're building our center console box and this is like the seventh video I think we've made because now this is a very important one. We, we have all of our electronics coming into this box that we made, but we need to put in a new switch panel, new fuses, new switches, everything's brand new. We're gonna take care of everything, but we're gonna have to rewire everything. And I am not the best at this, but I have a um, marine electronics friend who's gonna give me some pointers and we're gonna get to it and we're gonna rewire our own boat all by ourselves. Let's get to the video. So how, how long, this is six gauge wire. Six gauge wire. How long do I get of that? You know, you want to figure a length from here to here, from here to here, and then here to here, add two foot. Got it, so maybe six foot? Yeah, yeah. So six feet of gauge six, six gauge Correct. wire. Correct. All right, and that's going to be going that's from- red and black, because you're going to be- Red and black. Red from the battery switch to the terminal, to the terminal block. Okay. And black, because somewhere inside there, you're going to be putting that other ground bus, because you've got to get these things, everything's still got to go to ground. Right, okay. So six foot of those two, red and black. Okay. If you're doing the bilge, if you're doing the bilge, you probably want also maybe an eight foot piece. Yeah. Number 14 gauge, which is a much smaller wire like this. All right, so an eight foot piece of number what gauge? 14 gauge. A 14 gauge for the bilge. Right, because you want, you're gonna want to take the, the functionality of it, right. the switching mechanism, bring it to there, so that way you can turn it on and off from okay. over here. Um, <clears throat> And then the, the other one would be we're adding the uh, live well, which I would imagine that pump will be back here somewhere because it's going to take the in input from out here okay. and the pump pump will be here and then the the switch would be there and then the the actual unit would, is going to sit here. Right. And this is why maybe I was suggesting or maybe I'm not too far off still, you know, getting even like a... 15 foot roll or 25 foot roll of 14 because 14 know. all right so what we've got is we are going to install our switch panel which is here we've got our six switches and we are going to need from my recollection this wire and this wire that are going to, we're going to, need to buy those that are going to be able to run up here through the side and then connect to our switch panel, which will live here. All right. Now, uh, we are going to need some of the smaller wire that would be willing to fit from the bilge pump, which is there. And it's going to be able to need to run the length of this thing up all the way to the fuse box here. Same thing for the live well pump, which is not installed yet. We're gonna to need to install the live well pump back here. And there's gonna to need to be a wire that runs from the live well pump to the switch box. Uh, and then we have all the hose connections. And I think we need to get some more of this stuff or even this split connector stuff. Uh, and run it along the top of this because all of these wires, if I'm not mistaken, are gonna need to, we're gonna pull these out, pull them through, and we're gonna run them through a hole we're gonna cut right here, underneath the tackle box, up the side, or, or over the tackle box, but inside the unit that will feed the back of this guy right here. So this is my trolling motor. It looks like, the trolling motor cables are in this big wire here, this wire uh, system here that's coded. And then the rest of the lighting and stuff, the nav lights and stuff are in this bundle that both go through this blue conduit all the way to the back. So we have our, I believe these are the trolling motor cables positive goes to this switch here which is a kill switch that keeps it from draining the battery the negative which goes to the negative terminal of the battery i think i'm going to keep those keep the entire trolling motor wiring system as is because it looks like it's in good shape
battery terminal protector. Okay, so bilge, there are all of those. Okay. Got him. We're gonna keep him. Um, both of these, you can put, just wrap them together and put trolling motor. I'm gonna try and push through. I'd rather not cut this wire if we don't have to. Let me see. Actually, yeah. we need to take this off it. anyway. Yeah. Yep. Let me see. We need a Phillips screwdriver. I so. Think, well, if you detach that, it has nothing to do with this cable. Correct. And then we'll take the cable off. You look, you look exceptionally lovely sitting next to my Yamaha. Oh, uh, do I? <laughs> I want to start working. You want to, guys, here's the deal. My wife is such a doer that she struggles just sitting and waiting for slow people like me to think about what we're doing next. But um, So she literally took off all of this blue conduit that was all... 5200 down and she took it off all by herself so i'm super proud of you thank you for helping you're welcome and we're and she like wants to get at it so i want to get started that's nothing let's just do something let's do something let's work okay we're gonna work guys in fact right now what i can do is i can run the nav light wires directly to over here and have them switch on with the switch so I don't have to run new wires. I can pretty much leave this whole thing right here intact. But what I'll do is I'll run the trolling motor cables back through a new line with all the other wires that are gonna wind up going to the back of the boat. We are gonna drill right here so that we can make a space for our lines to come in now the problem is my drill bit is pretty small compared to how big we need the hole so we're going to need to work on this a little bit shrink it's supposed to shrink it, it is. good hey. 
Well, that's a first for me, guys. What do you think? It's good. Yeah? Next. Hopefully, Hopefully it works. You want to do you want to help yeah. you can do that and then we got to put this one we got to put this one through that too and feed which one this one right here these two we got to feed those in through here and then connect them we got it come on down Hmm. This, that is perfect. Right where it needs to be, okay. All right, so. Because it needs to, it needs to come out far enough, right about here. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go right there. And now, hold on. Fish this because there's gonna be two of these. We're gonna fish this back through. That yeah, you can stay right there. And this gotta go back through here. Make sure I have enough. It should be plenty. And then we'll, before we do anything, watch this, watch this. This one's gonna be black. Yes. Huh? What time is it? 6.20. Okay, uh, 6.30, come back and we'll eat them. Can you turn on the, uh, the broiler? So this is gonna be our negative. So we're gonna make it black. Then, then this side, do the same thing. So we rehooked up our trolling motor cables. And so let's check to see if that trolling motor works. Make sure that kill switch is on. All right, guys, let's see. That's bingo. All right, guys, trolling motor works. All right, folks, we've got our first, we plugged in our nav light here into our positive terminal. We've got the positive cable running back to the battery. 
well, back to the switch right here, kill switch. And so now, will the nav light turn on, guys? This is the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Nav light is on. Check it out. See that? Oh. Look at that. How you doing, sweetie? Hi. You did it. I did it. Well, we're getting there. We've got some of these things going. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm battling through this mess, and we're making it happen. <laughs> good, good. Looks good. I miss my uh, my assistant. Sorry, kids. Kids. You know, yes. Well, somebody's got a parent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll give you that one. I've been out here all day, right? <laughs> all right, guys. So I have rewired the. Um, the cables from, this is the negative cable. I've got black tape on it. And the positive one, it's, those are new. No, those are done, dude. But this. Mm -hmm. How do you turn it on? Oh. Look. Nav light. That is really cool. Nav light is yeah. working. Well, it's very delicate, so I'd rather, let's just leave it like that. All right. So got that one done. Working on my bus bar back here. My trolling motor functions. All right, after some untaping of this bilge and float system, wiring system, uh, I, I just wanted to see what we got here. So we got our negative coming off of the bilge, which basically connects here and then runs right to our bus. The positive, on coming off the bilge comes up to here and splices now here's where it gets interesting it splices with this line that goes to the switch but it splices off from the positive of the float and it, it combines them together and they both apparently go to the switch. Now, so the positive of the float goes to the switch that's combined right here with the positive to the bilge. If this works, I will be shocked and pleased at the same time. This is the complicated one that I was a little worried about. Oh, it's gotta go to a positive? Huh. So maybe I can just put it, maybe I can just put it in here. Does that work? <laughs> Do me a favor. T uh, hit the fifth st switch. From right to left? Y yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, turn it off. <laughs> what happened? Now, let's see. Yeah, baby. What happened? You got it? I'm figuring stuff out. Ow, I just poked myself. 
Uh, you know what you can do? Because I'm, I'm figuring this out. It's happening, man. It's happening. It's about freaking time. All right, guys. Here's some pretty cool stuff. So uh, I've got my bilge here, and I'm getting that wired up. Check it out. So far, we've got nav lights, right? We've got anchor light. We've got deck light we've got our live well bilge we're gonna hook that up the next day or two now live that's the live well pump now the bilge so we've got our bilge pump which is down here and obviously if we flip this switch the bilge is running okay flipped it off now the cool thing is we also have this float so if we're boats in the water on a dock and it starts to rain and it put a couple inches of water come in and the, this float goes up past like an inch or two turns the bilge on okay now how we rig that is we've obviously got a positive and a negative coming off of each one so what we do Let's start with the bilge pump, okay? We've got a positive and a negative. The brown in this case is the positive. We take that and we splice it to the positive of the float, okay? Then that comes all the way through and winds up at our switch right here, okay? That's, that's what this one winds up being right there to our switch. Now, the negative from the pump we bring that through, that comes to our, that comes to our bus bar right here. All right, see that? Now the, the other thing is the, the negative coming off of the float, because what you don't wanna do, this is our kill switch. So let's, let's kill the power right now. So now if we flip this, bilge doesn't work because we, we just killed the power from the battery. But we want, if we if a boat's in the water, we want this to be able to continue to function. So, whoa, check it out, it's still working, why is that? Well, we take the negative of the float, which is right here. That's the negative of the float. And we literally attach it to the positive end, positive terminal of our battery, okay? So literally this is the positive terminal. So that way it's getting juice all the time. It's not using juice unless water gets in the boat and it lifts the float up or if something gets jammed up underneath there. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully it's only when the water's there. I need to do a better job of screwing this down into the deck here. But uh, guys, that's a pretty cool thing. So now the power is off. So the, the battery, the power to all those other switches there is off, but we still have a functioning build. All right, guys. So now next step is I got to try and get these lights, these switch lights to illuminate. So right now, nav lights on, or let's do anchor light anchor lights on but this light is supposed to illuminate and then i gotta put a label on it so that's the goal right now um i guess i've got to put there's a negative terminal right here i've got to attach that to the bus in the back down there and then once i do that these should light up so let's see how that goes
That's the right one. Moment of truth, baby. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All righty, guys. I got red lights. That looks like a good sign. So when I flip my anchor light on, there's a green light. Bada bing. Off. On, off, on. How cool is that? Now it's time for labels. We got to go in and find all the right labels. So we've got anchor light, bait pump, bilge pump, GPS, nav lights. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Now light. Okay. Now light. All right. So that sticker's on. All right. It's light, but you can't see it, but it is lighting up green. And when I switch it that way, or it's lighting up green, and when I switch it that way, it's lighting up red. It'll probably be more apparent at night. So let's get all the labels put on, and we'll see what goes on from there. And then the last one, GPS. Excellent. All right, guys, we have all of our switch labels done and in place. Now it's time to mount this bad boy and get it done. baby. <clears throat> okay. Moment of truth.
does the drill fit in there? I think it does. Okay. The drill does fit. Sort of. No, it does not. So all of our electrical lining, we've got this gray tubing that you can buy, this conduit that's got the split down the middle. You can buy that at Home Depot or something like that. And what we're doing is we're using that and we're going to mount this on the side of our, uh, you know, our gunnel over here on the side. We've got it zip tied to our uh, live well intake line as well but the the wiring guys goes right into the center console right there i'll show you real quick what i did with it it comes in through here and all the wiring is bundled and in this conduit and i have it all housed inside of this little thing here We've got our negative bus there our grounded bus there and obviously the back of our switch panel here um, we wound up moving the battery our deep cycle battery inside of the center console and reason being is because we're actually going to be doing a project uh, rebuilding the back end of our uh, redoing our transom and that kind of thing but uh, that's a, a whole project here coming up soon that you're going to hold a series of new videos. We're going to build an entire new back platform there. It's going to be awesome. But electronics works amazing. And we just wanted to show you guys how we clean this up. And now how we have our center console here with dry storage. We've got dry storage now. And all we need to do is use these little latches, cooler latches to... Uh, keep all of our wires and stuff nice and dry so uh, I did put a little bit of silicone in this hole to kind of keep stuff from going in in and out of there so it's not perfectly sealed up but it does the job and then I left this blue conduit going up here to the uh, petroleum motor and nav light wire so that's about all she wrote on that well special thanks to my wife for helping out. Uh, she's amazing. Thank you, Noemi. And a uh, special thanks to Charles Booker for giving me some pointers on electronics. Freddie Martinez, as always, has always been a, a brother. He helped speak into this project. And, uh, and we have now a boat full of electrical possibilities. And um, we've got nav lights, we've got anchor lights, we've got um, our GPS works. We're going to get a trolling motor. We've got all kinds of stuff hooked up now and we're ready to fish and it's going to be fun. So thumbs up on the video. If you like it, guys, I, I appreciate the support for all you watch your lip fans. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, let's get creative and save some money because Lord knows I can't afford to pay somebody to do this stuff myself. So <laughs> Got to figure it out, guys. Hope I hope this was helpful. Take care.